Sorry for the crazy Super Saiyan hair. Uh, I just got back from the gym and I like to do a sauna every day. And uh, today I happen to turn Super Saiyan, but I'm getting a haircut today. So, um, the topic for this video, uh, supposing you can, um, you know, ignore the hairstyle, <laughs> um, the topic for today's video is something that I talked about recently, but I just wanted to really emphasize because it's so key. And that's taking care of the unit versus taking care of the problem. So, um, you know, by a show of hands, supposedly, you know, if, if I would be doing this as a lecture, who here or do you have a big problem in your life right now? I assume every single person watching this is like, yeah, I have a big problem. Or, you know, as um, I don't really recall who who um, who said it, but I think it was. Um, yeah, I don't remember. But 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 there's a famous guy who said uh, uh, that the only time you don't have any troubles anymore is when you're dead. So we often get sucked into the problem that we uh, feel is, is disrupting our lives, whether it be a financial problem, a relationship problem. If you really look at your life, uh, even as a, somebody successful, you probably wouldn't see maybe more than 20% of your time being trouble-free, where 80% or more is time you spend in life kind of dealing with problems. Now. The problem with these problems is that they never end. You're gonna keep having troubles and problems and challenges till the day you fucking die with brief periods of relaxation where everything is just good. Where you can, and then you start relaxing and then you get even more problems. So that's as um, Andy Grove one of the key personnel in Intel said, only the paranoid survive. <laughs> so how do you deal with this complex, this problem of having problems in life, given the fact that you're always going to have problems in life? The solution is actually a lot simpler than you think. Instead of focusing on the problems, as most people do, as they spend their entire life dealing with problem after problem after problem after problem but their quality of life never seems to improve you want to put your focus on the unit as in you the person who's experiencing the problem and you want to continually improve that unit not so that you won't have any problems anymore so that the quality of your problems improve so that you go from problems of I don't have enough money to pay the bills to a problem of the IRS are fucking with me, me with the taxes, for example. Or go from a problem of nobody wants to, to date me to I have too many people to date. Or I just got cheated on. That's a, that's a problem. But it's a better problem. At least somebody had sex with you before cheating on you. <laughs> Some people don't even get that. So there's always a higher and higher quality of problems. And the only way you improve the quality of your problems is by improving the quality of the unit. You do this by improving yourself. So you improve your fitness, you improve your, as in your health, you improve your knowledge, experience, you gain a more deeper wisdom of life. As uh, I believe it was Zig Ziglar that said that success is not something you do or create. Success is something you attract. And you attract success based on the quality of who you are. So you can only attract as much success as the quality of who you are. So if you want more success, don't focus on getting more success. Focus on being a better you 
and then success will naturally come as a byproduct. So whatever problem you're facing right now in life, put your focus off the problem because even if you solve it, again, best case scenario, you solve the problem, another one will come, I promise you. Ask anybody you know, anyone. And this isn't like the, you know, the, the thing where you ask, you know, most people aren't successful and most people are mediocre. Ask the successful people as well. Everyone has problems. No, there's nobody without problems. The only people without problems are dead. So improve the quality of the problems. So many people get continually stuck in the same problems. And they, for example, I can't, I don't know if I'll be able to finish the month. And then the month ends and they somehow will make it. And then what's, what happens the next month? I don't know if I can finish the month this time. And then they finish that month and then it just goes on and on and on. And you see people dealing with the same issues for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. It's insane. So what you ought to be looking for is how do I get myself to a higher level of problem for good? How do I improve my problems? For example, you don't solve financial problems by managing your money better or by reducing spendings. No, you, 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 you uh, fix your financial problems by increasing income. <laughs> it's a higher level of problem because now you're gonna have problem with taxes and all sorts of whack shit that happens once you start making a good deal of money because people wanna take that money from you. You know, when you don't make a lot of money, people are like, uh, <laughs> at, at least you get some mercy from the IRS. So, um, you know, in, in any case, I mean, it's not just like, um, it's not just in uh, uh, finance, it's also in, for example, relationships. It's, oh, I'm lonely. Okay, so you can either try to find a way to not be lonely, you know, or to feel good with being lonely, or you can just fix the loneliness. How do you do that? You go out and go out as much as possible until you solve the problem, become a social person. Now you're gonna have other problems. Now somebody's gonna, holy shit, that dog just fucking scared the shit out of me. <laughs> you're gonna have other problems, like people, uh, uh, oh my God, like this dog literally almost broke through the wall. <laughs> uh, you're gonna have other problems, uh, like people, for example, um, fucking you over and people uh, again, cheating on you, stuff like that, which also sucks, but at least it's a better level of suck. You know, uh, they say money won't make you happy, but I'd rather be sad in a Ferrari. So, as you probably understand from the point of this video, I call this focusing on root problems, not symptoms. So you basically put your awareness, your focus, on things that uh, will solve the problem entirely. How do you solve the problem of loneliness? You meet more people. How do you solve the problem of not having enough money? You create higher levels of income. And I know it sounds simple, but people really don't think about it. They're like, oh my God, I don't have enough money. And then they see, okay, where can I scrap the money? Where can I get the little bit of money? And oh my God, no, how do I finish? And instead of being like, okay, this problem will recur. It will keep happening. Calm the fuck down. Okay, so yeah, maybe even miss this month's uh, rent or payments or what, whatever the fuck you're going to miss. Yes, be that guy for one month so you can focus on getting a higher income because maybe sometimes you need to stop doing what you're doing because what you're doing is the problem why you're not making enough money but you're being stuck there. You're stuck there because of the continuous loop. So ask yourself, am I in a loop? Am I in a loneliness loop? Am I in a depression loop? Am I in a financial problems loop? Are my problems repeating or are they getting better and better? Am I getting higher level problems or am I stuck with the same boring old problems? This is an important transition and once you make it, shit's gonna start to improve really, really, really fast. So, hope this helps you. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. And if you're part of the 
75% of the people who are watching this who are not yet subscribed, I'm watching you. I know the statistics. Subscribe, because if not, I'll know. Thank you.